Hi everyone, NativeQ here and welcome to another EVE Online video. Let's go over the Photon UI and the new multiple overviews feature which uh, CCP have added to the game, which I think is absolutely fantastic. Uh, to get started, what we need to do is we need to enable the Photon UI and the multiple overviews and to do that, um, just go into your settings for your client by hitting the, I guess, the escape key and uh, you'll find a new tab here called Feature Reviews and you've got the Photon UI which you need to enable first and it does require you to restart the client and then after that you can then go to your multiple overviews and you can enable that and uh, what that allows you to do is um, have multiple overviews so multiples of this box here now the default one yeah, normally has three tabs in it you've got your general tab, your warp to tab and a mining tab but what I want to do is I want to just have this mining tab as a separate window and uh, we can play around with it to see how it works. So to do that, we can just right click on it and we can go down to move to tab or I should say move tab to and we have an option here of a new window. So if I go ahead and do that, we can see now that it's now a separate overview. So if I just go in and uh, we'll just go to an asteroid field so we can actually see some ore types. So let's go ahead and do that. Right, now that we're in the asteroid field, what I like to do is I like to add a new tab to my mining overview for a specific ore type that I want to mine. And it's quite easy to do that. As you know, you just click on the plus, plus symbol and you name the tab whatever you want. Uh, we'll leave everything else as default by now. Uh, we don't want to open it in a new window because that will open it in a new overview window, we, which we don't want. We just want it as a tab within our existing mining overview. So we'll uh, um, keep that unchecked and just go OK. And it's now appearing in our tab list. And uh, what we can do is we can go into more and go to open overview settings. And there it is here, our score right. Let's just change the color. Um, I don't know, let's have it green to um, yeah, make it stand out a bit more. And uh, what we can do is we can go over to our filters because we want to filter this score right tab to only show score right um, asteroids. And uh, what we need to do is deselect everything. Um, that'll just... Um, basically clear everything and if we search for scordite we can see it appears under asteroids which is what we want so we select that and bingo as you can see it's now only showing the scordite that we want and we can go ahead and save it as a new filter and we can say okay it's going to be our scordite filter and click on ok and if we go back to tabs, as you can see, we've got our Scordite and it's using our new Scordite filter, which is exactly what we want. So we can close that now. And the great thing about this is, you know, it just makes it easier to sort by distance a specific type of ore that you're interested in. So we can go to the closest one, mine that out, and then just go down the list, not having to worry about the different other different uh, ore types within the belt and um, missing one of these uh, really important ore types that you want to mine. Uh, I just think it's it's really cool that, that you can do that. Um, now, the, as I said, the, the only bad thing about this is the fact that you can only have eight tabs. So you wouldn't be able to do this with all, all the different ore types, which is a pity. Um, I hope CCP do change it in the future. So you can pretty much have unlimited tabs because I think that would be fantastic. Um, it would be great if you could have a tab for every single different ore type that you wanted to mine and uh, you could just go through them one at a time and uh, it just makes things a hell of a lot easier, I guess, to sort. Because um, yeah, as you know, if you go to your general one, you know, you've got all the other ore types all intermingled. Um, uh, you know, in, in the list. You know, sure, you could um, sort by type. And, uh, yeah, it, it puts all the, the score right together. You know, it is intermingled with all the other ones here. Now, as you can see, uh, this is another 
um, good thing that you can do as well is, you know, we can see here that we've got a baddie that showed up, uh, NPC rat, and uh, it's appeared in our general overview, uh, which could be easily missed, depending on how big your system is and depending on how many other people are mining or, you know, what's going on, you actually may miss this. Um, so another thing that you can do is have another overview specifically for NPC rats so they appear more easily. And how do we go about doing that? Well, quite easy. If we come here, um, we can actually just uh, do it from this overview. It doesn't matter which overview you do it from. If we say add a tab and we can just call it NPC and we can just say in new window, which is what we want. And if we go OK, we can see here that we've got our NPC um, new over overview here. And what we can do, again, like we did with the all one, we can right click, or not right click, or click on your more options and go into overview settings. And we can create a new filter. And um, we can just deselect everything. And we can save as, and we can say this is our NPC um, ships. And we can go OK. And then we can close that. And as you can see, nothing's in here because we've deselected everything. And one of the great things about this is you can actually just right click on whatever you want to add. And just say, add this, right? Overview visibility, asteroid, um, Garista frigate, add this to our NPC tab. And there we go. It's now added here. So not only do we have our mining tab that we can keep track of the, um, the specific types of asteroids or just pretty much all asteroids, but we've also got our NPC ships tab here that is showing a hostile. Now the great thing about this is it just means that with our overview that we could actually tidy it up. Um, now that we've got a separate tab, that is showing NPC ships, we don't actually need it to appear in our main overview. So we can just pretty much go ahead and remove it from our general tab. So that means it's not going to clutter up our general tab, it's just going to show in our NPC tab, or not tab, overview I should say. Uh, the other thing that we can do is Again, as you can see, there are a couple of wrecks here. Um, so one of the things that I like doing is I like to create a new tab just specifically for wrecks. So if we go here and we say wrecks, if I can spell it right, and go OK, right? We've got a new one here. Again, it's just using the default filter. So if we just highlight it and we can go over to our overview settings. Again, under filters, deselect everything and then save it as Rex. Do that. Brilliant. It's now empty. We just right click on these Rex and we can then go overview visibility. We just want to go into our Rex tab. And as you can see, they're appearing there. Now we can right click here and go to overview and remove from our general tab because we don't want to see them. And there we go. It's sort of cleaned it up a bit, hasn't it? The fact that we've got our overview here for NPC ships um, and for wrecks. It just means that our main overview here is now not cluttered as much. Um, again, with our overview here for mining. It's completely separate, so we can keep a, uh, an eye on other, um, I guess, playing characters. If they warp in, we'll, you know, we'll be able to see them in our general overview here. Um, but NPC ships that warp in, we'll be able to see them over here. And again, let's just say that you're not going to be using the overview uh, window for mining um, anytime soon. Just drag it and put it into your main overview as a separate tab and there quite easy it's out the way it's not going to disturb anyone 
and uh, yeah that's pretty much it and again same with our NPC um, overview here <laughs> we can just drag it and put it as a different tab in our main overview window here and then whenever you want to use them just drag them out boom make it smaller and it's just really cool just like that again uh, the only I guess annoyance that I have you know with, with this is is the fact that you can only have eight tabs uh, I just I, I really wish that that CFTP would would change that um, because as you can see even with our score diet our NPC um, tab and our Rex tab I've only got two tabs left that I can add to an overview uh, which I think is, is a pity. There, there should be a way that you can add more tabs, but unfortunately there's not. Uh, let's just change our NPC tab to red. And we can say our Rex can be, I don't know, yellow. Why not? There we go. Make it a bit more visible. Awesome. And that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, It'd be really good to know what you guys um, do with these new tabs and how you've got them configured. Oh, by the way, as you can see, the default overview here is not saved. Uh, that's because obviously it's been changed. So uh, let's just save that. And then let's just go back to our default one. And then we'll just save that. Um, yeah save it there we go brilliant that's because we you know removed the wrecks from it and the npc ships from it it obviously changed it um, so we had to go back into our filters and, and save it um, which is now will save so they shouldn't none of them should be saying that they need saving oh rex is not saved so we'll go over to rex and we'll save that there we go and that's removed this um that not saved and that's pretty much it. We just go ahead and kill this rat. So we'll release the drones and we'll go and kill it, even though it's not, it hasn't even targeted me. Let's just go kill it anyway. And it's just about dead. Boom, there we go. Right, return the drones. We can go over to our Rex, and as you can see, it's there. It's not yellow, which means I can loot it, even though it's got nothing in it, but I can salvage it. So let's just go ahead and salvage it. And there we go. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, yeah, as I said, leave a comment down below and let me know um, how you've set up your overviews. Uh, I like this, you know, just a, a general mining um, overview window and uh, overview window for NPC rats and Rex. Um, again, Rex is really, really good. If you have that open and you're flying between systems or, you know, doing multiple jumps, it's always good to have a Rex windows open because um, normally you can come across a gate that's got a couple of, of Rex in it that um, if you're lucky enough, you can salvage. Um, which uh, don't really appear on your overview depending on you know how you've customized it um, previously um, but if you're using a, a, a different type of overview maybe you'll miss something so it's always good to have a, um, a specific window open for something that you're really interested in so it uh, doesn't get lost in, in your main overview windows but anyway hope you enjoyed it until next time fly safe and uh, bye for now